Melodies, you make me sing, you got that remedy When you around, I see a better me I'm like a dog, I need that pedigree Tell them breathe, best of me When you around, I see the best of me I can't ask like cause you be checking me That's why I always keep you next to me Next to me, oh See me, I be close, Because your love is like Now we never miss yeah, today's a little bit different. We're gonna be cooking some kingfish. We're gonna get right into it. So, the fish is already seasoned up. So, I'm overnight about treating, you know. And we got our season cut up already. Onion, okra, sweet pepper, and thyme. We need little garlic, so you can't forget about that. Let's go. Let's get it. You missing anything? So, today we won't be eating any rice. We are making this with ground food, which is already in the pot bubbling up. That's very easy to make, so we didn't we take that Yum, banana, dumpling, Irish. What else? That's it. That's it. Tomato. So, yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna put tomato in. Guess what? We're making king fish but we're gonna stew it so what we're gonna do first is fry the fish and then cook it down after in a sauce that'll be made by the monster PRTEL okay so we're cutting up this garlic right now because I kind of forgot but we'll be back once it's hot, it's hot so guess what we gotta add the oil we gotta add a good amount because we're frying the fish first remember Fry the fish first. That's gonna make it taste nice and crispy. So the oil is in a pot, rub it up. Need more than this? I don't think so. Let's get it. Where the garlic at? So we're gonna put some garlic in the pot to allow the garlic to cook up a little bit. That's how you know the pot's hot. You hear that? You see that? That's you touching the pot is hot. Whoop. It's hot. Then we're not gonna make the sauce yet because guess what? We're gonna fry the fish first. So we're gonna put the fish in the pot. Let's get it. Ready, seasoned, ready. Y'all seen it from the other day on Instagram. Make sure you stay away from the pot. You don't want to get bun up. Okay guys, so the fish is frying for a little bit. You wanna check, you wanna lift it up, you wanna see if it's brown underneath. If it is, you just take it and you flip it to the next side. Let's get it. See how nice that looks? Ooh. Now we gotta wait for the next side to look brown as well. We'll be back. Made it fry for a little bit again. Check the next side, see if it's ready. You know I like it when it's a little bronzy looking bun up because you know crispy is the best take them out and get ready to make the famous sauce yes sir so we're back ready we got a clean pot we got to wash the pot out New oil, we're gonna put a new oil, we're gonna put new garlic to make the food taste nice. And you know garlic made the food taste a little bit spicy, so let's get it. Put in the oil. We're not gonna put so much oil like what we put to fry the fish. Now we're just gonna put enough, but not too much. That's good enough, that's about, 
I don't know, we Jamaicans, we don't measure enough, we just throw and see and look and say, oh, that's good. Yeah, mind you, <laughs> now we're going to put the bust up garlic in there. See, when you see it bubbling up, that's how you know your pot is hot. Let's get it. This is my favorite part. Why? Because all of this stuff is so beautiful and colorful. Look at this. It looks like a rainbow. Who don't wanna, wouldn't love to eat this? So once this is boiling up, boiling up, bubbling up, we're going to take all the seasoning and we're going to put it inside the pot. I leave the time for last. of choice if you like to eat okra then go ahead if you don't you don't have to put that in there same with the carrots Now we gotta add some water from the seasoning from the fish. You know, so we Jamaican love do this. Mix it up, add a little water, and throw it in the pot. This is also something that makes your gravy taste so nice because it's the seasoning from the actual fish that you season or the meat, whatever it is that you wanna add. So we add the water, mix it up a little bit, make sure everything is even. Now we gotta add our seasoning. Straight from yard, put little time. It's finishing a little bit, but we got this. Seasoning straight from Jamaica. I don't think that's enough. Let's put a little bit more. Tiny bit. Let's get it. Can y'all believe one year ago I couldn't cook? If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get it. So now, we want to taste that. And make sure that it tastes good. Need a little more. <laughs> like I said, we use our eye. We don't sit down here and, be, and we use our taste buds. We don't sit. Now we're gonna put a little bit more water because we don't want all of the nice vegetables to get dry. So add a little bit more water. With the same pun again. <laughs> Mix that up. Now, this is another thing that I've grown up and see my dad and my mom doing as well. So, you know, say, all the Jamaican them know about it already. When you add a little ketchup, you know this, make your own sauce. Taste that. You don't want to add too much ketchup. Perfect. You don't want to kill the nice Jamaican seasoning. You want to put just the right amount. And we gotta mix that up too. We gotta make that simmer down for a little bit. And then we gotta add the fish. Time to add the fish. Not long talking, what belly I grow right now, we're hungry. Make sure you add the fish. into the sauce now this is the good part mix it up make sure that everything is portioned good you don't want one side of the fish dry and one side tastes nice this is what makes 
to taste very, very nice. So now we're gonna put the top over the pot and make it cook down. See y'all when food is ready. Oh, forgot one last ingredient. My father used half of this in one meal. Now, baby, <laughs> he used a lot, but we only we gonna measure. We not just gonna throw it in there crazy like what Daddy do. We gonna put just a bit, make it taste nice. See that? Jamaican pimento. Zoom in. Now mix that up again. Make sure all of the spice is everywhere. Hey, spice on everything nice. And we'll be back when food is done. So, this I've been cooking down for like 10 minutes. We wanna let it sit for like maybe 10 minutes just so the, the gravy can get a little thick. So the water is not just watery, it's more thick so you can put it on your actual food or your rice, whatever you want to make with it. And yes, food is ready. King's Toolfish. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more of these videos. Let us know. Don't be afraid to tell us. And don't forget, cool as a big chef too, so more food, that comes. More food must come. Yeah, big up on the cell. Don't play. We don't play. Banana. What going after now? Food ready, ready, food ready. Let's dig in. Get to the plate and forward.